today we're gonna talk about relationships. But before we do, remember, if you like this, I want you to like it, I want you to share it, and I want you to subscribe to my channel because it really matters to me because I wanna have a relationship with you. So today it is about relationships. But I've gotta take you back. I've gotta take you back in time to 1943. Uh, in 1943, Maslow came off with this theory of the hierarchy of needs. I think all of you studied that when you were in school, and it was interesting because the it was a triangle, and the bottom of the triangle was our basic needs, food and shelter. Right above that was safety, and then smack dab in the middle, it was all about love. And when you really study the theory, it's about relationships and how important they are in our lives. And that was back in 1943. 80 years ago, Harvard did a study, and their study was on connections and relationships, 80 years ago. And what Harvard came out with was that connections, joining communities, being a part of something bigger than yourself will fulfill your needs and it will make you happier and help you with success. And then when I started speaking, I started studying a guy named Jim Rohn. And Jim Rohn, he, he hit it a little bit differently. He said that you are the sum total of the five people that you spend the most time with. That one scared me because I looked around at the five people and I thought, maybe I got to upgrade here. No, just kidding. Five people. It's interesting. So today we're going to talk about that, but we're going to expand it. We're going to expand it because it's a lot more than just the peer-to-peer -peer and the relationship. So, so let's get started. Let's start with the peer-to-peer. -peer. We'll do the people at work and the people that you hang out with personally. Let's go with work first. When I'm speaking to millennials, I try to really explain to them the importance of hanging out with people at work with who have shared values. Shared values, what does that mean? That means be with people who want what you want and maybe even more. Be with people where you can learn something at work and follow their guidance. Shared values is important. But when we talk about our personal friends, peer to peer, let's take a look at what we really need. I think we need four things in our, in our friendships. We need a cheerleader. I always need a cheerleader. I want people, especially when I'm down, I can give them a call. You're doing great. You hang in there, right? We need people who support us. And that can be our family. That can be our friends. But we need the cheerleader. And we also need the critic. We need the people that tell us when we've maybe gone a little bit over, uh, maybe when we have to like simmer down a little bit. We need a critic. And we need a coach. We need somebody in our lives that we can look up to and we can ask advice. We can talk to them about things that are going on and they can coach us maybe through a hard time. And we need connectors. We need people who are out there connecting. We need people that can introduce us to people and help our community grow. So personally, we need that coach. We need that cheerleader. We need the critic. And we need the connector. It's a lot of C's, but I think it's easy to remember. But here's the thing. We are living in the most extraordinary time of all where we can have relationships with people we don't even know. We can have relationships digitally, we can go online, and we can meet those experts in fields that we may never even have a chance to see them live. Think about who is at our disposal, just a click away. I want you to think about taking online courses or maybe webinars, but I think we have to grow our connections online. So the question that I'm going to ask you as I close this down is, who are you spending the most time with? What are you doing on your free time? Because you might be with your friends having a great time and then come home and turn that computer on and watch a course. We are all here to grow. So today we talked about relationships and I want you to think about who you're hanging out with and grow those relationships and improve your life. Hey guys, thanks. I'm Karen McCullough with another Lesson from the Road.